Pages don't come at very convenient times. They come either in the middle of the workday or sometimes the middle of the night. But people need you when they need you. We are essentially 911 in the mountains, and so we are somebody's last hope in a lot of cases, and we need to respond when they need us. My name is Kirsten Allen. I'm a materials engineer for Honeywell Aerospace, and I love doing search and rescue in my free time. Sounds like it's probably an ankle injury. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, what channel are we on for radios? Uh, we're gonna be on F3. Search and rescue, as the name implies, has both searching and rescuing. Rescues are very common for us. We first get a page that's a notification saying that there is a mission spinning up. At that point, I will double check and make sure that my bag has a 48 hour kit that has everything that I need to successfully carry out a search and rescue mission. Once we get to the location, then we need to check in in person and we will have a debrief and the mission will spin up. We should be getting close here. For me, it's a kind of satisfaction that I can't find anywhere else. I love being able to give back, being able to impact somebody so immediately. Mark! It's very gratifying for me. So materials engineering is very broad. It covers characterization of materials and creating new materials for specific uses. I love the variety of what I do. I might be working on a material science problem that's challenging around epoxies in the morning, and I might be working on a manufacturing issue on the afternoon, figuring out how to actually achieve those material performances that we need. She is so passionate about learning. She's like a sponge, everything we throw at her, she just, she digs in and she excels. I made the comment to one of my colleagues one time, if I had 12 of Kirsten, I could take over the world. And they disagreed with me and they said, you'd actually only need seven. And I thought that was a great example of how she's viewed not only by myself, but by the rest of her colleagues as well. Command, this is team one. Go ahead, team one. Subject located. You can get a pulse. I'm gonna get you a blanket get you warmed up, okay? I feel very lucky that I have flexibility at work so that if I need to leave early or come in late because of a mission, I've been given a lot of flexibility to do that. Vitals on the subject, we've got Pulse 72. I remember one call last summer, I was in the middle of a meeting I was presenting and my phone went off. It was a woman who had broken her ankle and was about three miles up the trail. So my boss was kind enough to let me leave in the middle of the meeting and headed to the trailhead to get spun up for the mission. So here at Honeywell, we really try to give our employees the flexibility they need to do these community service type things. And it really puts things in perspective when you think, you know, what we do here is important and it ultimately saves lives, but she's saving lives at the moment as she's tromping around in the woods looking for somebody who's sick, injured, or missing. Search and rescue being volunteer run instead of exclusively professional does make things feel a little differently. When you're volunteer run, it doesn't have an end time, it doesn't have a go home. And in those situations where you are rescuing somebody, the people that we are rescuing know that we are volunteer and that is important to them because they know that we've already seen this through up until this point. They know that we're going to get them back safely because that is the single most important thing we are gonna do all day.